Good morning, everyone. We are currently in Liverpool. Hi, everyone. So today we've come to Liverpool for two reasons. So reason number one is to see Beauty and the Bees, which I'm yes. so excited really for. Really exciting. Yeah. Really exciting. Only our second visit to the theatre since yes. restrictions are lifted. Yes. So. So we're seeing that at the Empire Theatre, and then this afternoon we have afternoon tea at the Hard Day's Night um, Hotel. Yeah. So Beatles themed. Really nice. Yeah. yeah. So this is the hotel we're stopping at in the Baltic Triangle. It only opened in July this year, so it's brand new almost. It's the first hotel in this part of Liverpool. Um, so we're just going to show you what it's like inside. Yeah, I think it was. We bought it through Booking.com. No, we didn't. Hotels.com. <laughs> on the left as you go in. We are on the third floor and the lift is broken. We did ask when we checked in if we're okay. They actually sent us a text as well. Yeah. The day before good. just to see if we needed a lower room. So we're in our shower. So the toilet. Nice mirror. And then the sink is outside. Obviously we're <laughs> not outside. It's not outside, outside. <laughs> nice safe. Nice safe. A safe. <laughs> and then this is really nice. We've got some cool fake oh but that's kind of making it off. Little mag. And then you've got a nice TV, got loads of glasses, and then the best bit is these this is a fridge. How cool is this? And then the fridge is actually the fridge. then got somewhere for all your hangings. And then you got an iron and iron board, a fan, it is really warm in here. And there isn't any air con, so... Which is surprising because it's a brand new hotel. Yeah. And then the bed. I love this panelling. It is. I love the headboard bit as well. Really nice. It's supposed to be bigger than the king. Yeah. Nice. And then this is the view, if I can get it out. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh it just sings. Okay. Not much of a view, but oh shit my head. Yeah. Yeah, so these are all the glasses that we provide. Normally you just get like two plastic cups. Yeah. <laughs> and then there is tea and coffee. No coffee machine. No, no coffee machine. But I've got mine in the car. You are actually. From work, yeah. <laughs> Might be going to go get that oh, one. I've left all the pods just like that. Oh well, we'll have to go buy some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's lovely, for eighty five pound. Really nice. So when we checked in, these maps were available, which I thought were an excellent idea. Um, I think they're from the city bus tours, um, yeah, city sites. But I still thought it was brilliant that they offered it. So we are here, so we, we put on us. <laughs> um, so we're right by the um, cathedral. And then there's like, um, there's other bits around. So there's Chinatown, and then the other, um, cathedral, well, yeah, and then universities up here, and then all the main bits are down here. So you've got like the Wellington Memorial statue, the um, train station, and then here's the docks. So we're actually really close to Royal Albert Docks, which is great. So it's just a walk down here, and we're there. So where we're going tonight to see Beauty and the Beast is. Ooh, not on here, how looks it. Hmm. It is on here. It's just here, the Empire Theatre. So that's where they're showing Beauty and the Beast. So it's a 25-minute walk from our hotel. Um, not too bad. So what's great about this hotel room, obviously, you've got Wi-Fi and the telly does allow you to, which is great, cast your phone. So it's not just um, Android phones, you've got Apple as well which means you can watch obviously Netflix and YouTube so you don't just have to watch boring telly. Um, another good feature is, well not really a feature actually, this 
hand smoke smells incredible. It's probably the best smelling hand wash and shower gel we've had. I think it's made by the same people that make that alien. Yeah. Yes, Natalie's just told me. <laughs> There's a really good floor length mirror. However, next to every mirror, there is no sockets, which makes it very difficult to do your hair. So maybe just one little thing they could have addressed. Two hours later. So this is where we're coming for afternoon tea. Hard days night hotel. Awesome building. And then we've got statues of the bill, beetles. Yeah, out of five. We have a voucher so we get this included as traditional and obviously if you want to upgrade to have some Prosecco which is very extra and you get unlimited teas so you can choose anyone so if you want to use like an English Rex now and then like a green tea later we can do that some hot chocolate yeah it's really nice so the afternoon tea is actually based here because it says the Beatles mentioned tea over a dozen times in their songs how awesome is that I never knew at the bottom lot there's some lyrics that they mention in the songs they mention tea. <laughs> oh yeah. Time for tea and meet the wife. And then on here. Oh. <laughs> so our afternoon tea has arrived. We've got smoked salmon, cucumber, ham and mustard and beef and horse other sandwiches. Without the crusts obviously. And we've <laughs> got it looks like carrot cake or red velvet cake, I'm not too velvet. sure. Red velvet, there's obviously a Victoria sponge and lemon meringue pie. Yeah, maybe we'll mm. sort of find out when we try it. <laughs> and then we've got obviously scones, quite a cream and jam. Scones have been warmed up, they smell delicious. Mm. So, the age old debate is it cream and then jam or jam and then cream? I always have jam, jam and cream, but probably it always does the opposite. And the reason being is because you put butter on your toast first. Yeah, you don't put your jam on first. Mm. Yeah, but no. Method in my madness. Okay. I, I still always do it this way. <laughs> first afternoon tea done. What did you think? It was nice. It wasn't the best afternoon tea no. we've ever had. No. But it was only fifteen pounds, so well yeah, we didn't even pay for it because no. we had a voucher. But fifteen pound it's Really good themed. Yeah. Really good themed. Really well themed. Yeah. And there's constantly Beatles music playing, so yeah. you were happy. Yeah, if you're a Beatles fan, it's really yeah. good, isn't it? Yeah, 15 quid, definitely going. Especially if, because the hotel's so expensive, it's like £200 a night, so it's a good chance to go see all of that. Yeah, and it's located just actually right by the Cavern Quarter, so yeah. you've obviously got the Cavern Club and all the Beatles yeah, so you can do places. Yeah, about the same time, didn't you? Yeah. Good night. <laughs> So you can see where our hotel is and right next door we've got loads of coffee shops and we've got a bake house and then there's loads of like eatery places, just snacks, not restaurants. It just feels so yeah. What's the saying? As I said to you, vibey. Vibey. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that's the word, but yeah, it's, it's really nice. Yeah. yeah. It's quite nice. Yeah. We are leaving by the way and this will be in the middle of a vlog, so <laughs> very random. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit nippy today. <laughs> And then one more thing, our car is here, and then the hotel is here. Sixteen pound, which I don't think is bad. So we spent the afternoon, well, afternoon a couple of hours in the hotel, 
change. Now we're going to the beach and the beach. Uh, you excited. know, I'm so hungry. Yeah, we, we had afternoon tea and thought, oh yeah, we'll be alright to last till after right. the theatre. I don't now think so. Now six, yeah. six. Starving. So we might have to find like <laughs> some a snacks. Bit snack. Bit snack. <laughs> yeah, you can just see the cathedral just behind the trees. Oh yes. There, look. Yeah. So this is the breakfast menu. It's actually ten pound per person if you stay in. Well, I think they brought it down to ten now. When he was just saying, but yeah, loads of choices for it. And it's nice, but you get a proper cafeteria plates. Mm. Wake us up. <laughs> so we ordered breakfast and then turned the menu over and realised it was the second side. And I so would have gone for pancakes or waffles. Have you seen this one? Toasted focaccia chorizo sausages. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so just asked if they've already started our food and they hadn't luckily, so I've now gone for this. And Robert's gone for this. And we were gonna just have an omelette, so yeah, excited. How amazing do these look? So this is the egg benedict with hand carved ham. Bacon, yeah. And then, Bob's got for catcher, little trick sausages, and some more eggs. So glad we changed. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Is it going to be good? I'm excited. Oh, oh yes. yes. <laughs> what? No, save okay, it. Save that one. <laughs> so, next morning now, we Do wanted to take a bit of a reflection on Beauty and the Beast before we yeah. gave our opinion. Yeah, so, it wasn't, but it wasn't awful. awful, but it wasn't great either. So we've seen a lot of Disney productions, we've seen yeah. Aladdin twice, Mary we've seen Poppins. Mary Poppins. Well that's not a lot, that's just two, but... <laughs> <laughs> I did wonder why you said it, I was like, is there more? <laughs> but bearing in mind we've seen Aladdin twice, mm. how incredible that was, yeah. how incredible Mary, Mary Poppins yeah. was. This was very lacklustre, I think that's a good word. It just went on, like, some of the songs, you know are like snappy, some of the songs are like the gas on tavern bit, it just went on and on for about yeah. ten minutes, and I was like, a bit bored now. Yeah, I get it's a musical, and yeah. it's a bit like, I suppose, Moulin yeah. Rouge style, It's the, these things go up yeah. a bit longer, but it just was a bit long, mm. and to be honest, I did fall asleep briefly at one <laughs> I point. I was like... Hello. And that was. <laughs> I've never fallen asleep no. during a musical no. or a theatre show. And the no. cinema, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because it's it's just a bit rude, isn't it? People are putting on this show for you and you sat there just nodding. It's, we wouldn't normally be like that. Yeah, but... it was a bit a bit disappointing. But yeah. it's obviously they've spent a lot of money. The yeah. costumes were Amazing. incredible, and and I think. Sets. Yeah. Loved the sets. Yeah, they did some great, like, mm. technological stuff or yeah. whatever. Yeah, really, um, really good. Sam Bailey was good as Mrs. Potts. In my opinion, I think she was the best. Yeah, I've had So we have noticed that I've got a lot of reflection in my glasses, so we struggle to get good lighting in this yeah. hotel room. It's quite dark. Yeah, I think that's the theme, though, right? It's yeah, it's meant to be, yeah, and it's, yeah. it's, it's really nice, but yeah, so yeah. just please, obviously, <laughs> excuse the reflections. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have booked to go, you will enjoy it. Just go in with a bit of an open mind, there were some new songs, we didn't, yeah, they yes. weren't our favourite, I think, got two so, two films to choose some songs from, which were far better than what they actually used, mm, yeah. there was a couple we liked, but not anything Yeah, I think the Beast song was good, Yeah, that he sang, that was good. Another thing that is a bit distracting is there's always noise, yeah. because it's a kids, well, you know, there's lots of kids there, there's always opening of sweets, parents talking to kids up and down yeah. and where we were we were kind of in the front on the circle so there was a massive walkway in front of us and it was always back and forth yeah. so it was quite difficult to concentrate yeah but so be, ma be mindful of those things but definitely be it's yeah. it is worth a visit if you yeah. are a disney fan yeah uh, yeah yeah so we've had breakfast this morning 10 pound each definitely worth it yeah. amazing and now we're off to 
Oh, where are we going? Nos- Nowsley or Nosley. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Safari Park. Yeah. We saw a sign on the way in, mm. never heard of it before, mm-hmm. so we thought, let's book and go. Yeah, so we're going to put that in a separate vlog, so we're going to end this vlog here, so we hope you enjoyed it, we know it's a bit of a short one, um, but yeah, we'll see you in our next one. Yeah, thanks for watching, and if you've enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel, there will be a link this way, I think. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> but um, thanks again for watching. Thank you. Bye, Bye. guys.